is my top five tips for fat loss and getting in shape. Tip number one is to goal set. So as you can see, 31st of May, I should be competing in men's physique. So now every day will count and starting prep on the 9th of March. Tip number two will be to track your calories. I do that using the Elevation Fitness app. I've used this plenty of times before. I've followed diets in the past. And for me, using an app to track my calories and having different things every day seems to work better for me and my clients also. So I'm going to click on to nutrition. I'll scroll down to my plan. And there you go, 40% carbs, 40% protein, and 20% calories coming from fats. So there's my nutrition sorted. Now on to tip number three. Tip number three will be to track your progress from the start. So take some pictures in the morning, getting your weight in the morning on an empty stomach. That way you can see each week if you're heading in the right direction. Make sure you're keeping them weights heavy in the gym and you're not you know, sacrificing too much performance on your lifts. That way you know that the muscle is going to stay there. And this is a previous cut that I did a couple of years ago. I'm hoping to do the same again this year. Getting a bit leaner with the new added muscle from the uh, extra time training in the off-season. Another important tip, tip number four, would be to follow a workout plan you can stick to. There's no point following a plan that says you've got to train five days a week if you can only get to the gym three days a week. So you've got to pick a plan that will suit you. For me, I can train five days a week. So a push-pull-leg split worked great in the past and is what I've used in the past for cutting. So push-pull-legs will be something that I may follow this year, depending on how I feel and if I want to change things up. So tip number four would be to find a work you can stick to, something that pushes you. One of my final tips will be to be patient and don't rush in too quickly. A lot of people, when they get the goals in their head, including myself in the past, will make a few mistakes by cutting calories too low, doing too much cardio and pushing themselves too much, too frequently in the gym. So just give it time and be patient with your goal and you know train hard, but don't be overdoing yourself too much to the point where you're making uh, steps backwards instead of forwards. So one key is patience. That's it for today's video. Just want to say a big thanks to the people that have finished the video. If you've got any questions you'd like to ask me, just message me on Instagram or Facebook. Plenty more free content coming soon. And there's a lot more to go through just than the five I've mentioned today. But those are my top five I could think of. And I hope that helps some of you. And good luck with your goals, guys.